Hi guys, I'm sound designer and composer Gary Hibner here from On Track Tuts, and this is Getting On Track with Logic's Import Track feature. Now this is really a great feature and I use it all the time. The benefits of it is that it allows you to jump back to older projects, browse through the tracks, instruments and content, and then pull the content into your current project that you're working on. And the benefits of it is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you've created a cool patch in another project, you can use this feature to pull it in and reuse that sound. And it also just pulls in some coherence between the different songs that you're working on. For example, if you've got a cool bass patch in one project, just pull it into the other project and it ties the two together. And it's really easy to use. Let me show you how to do it. So let's see how this works. I've got this current project over here. It's just this simple electronic tune with a synth, some noise sounds, and some beats. Take a listen to it over here. So the song's okay. I like this little synth elements over here, but I want to bring in some other elements in a previous project that I worked in. So I'm just going to save this project and jump to the other one. So I've jumped back here to a previous project. And what I really like is this patch over here with this techno chords on it. And I also dig these drums over here. So I'm just going to solo them and play them back for you. So what I want to do is take these drums and add a more rock element to that other electronic project. And I also like the sound of this acoustic bass over here. So what I suggest is just make notes of the tracks that you want to pull in. So I'm going to just jot down the techno chords, drums, and stinger bass. Now I'm going to jump back to that first project I was working on when we started the video. Now this is how you go about importing the tracks. On the right here, just open up the browser panel. By default, it'll probably open up on this projects tab over here. So just navigate to the all files tab. And next, just jump to this icon over here. This is the project icon. Now when I click on that, this gives me a location of my current project. Now what you need to do is navigate to the project where you want to pull the tracks from. And my project is just back one fold over here, and it's this guy over here. So I'm just going to click on this to open it, and you can see it gives me the folder structure of the project. And then when I double click on the project file, it shows me all the tracks that are contained in the project. Now this is the important part. I can choose to include the content, the plugins, plus I can also choose to add the send data, input and output, and automation data for each track. So now let's go through and choose the tracks. So I want to pull in this Techno Chords track over here. I don't need the content, but I want to add in the plugin that's on the track. Next, for the drums, I do want to include the content. So I'm going to take that and the plugin. Now, with the bass sound, I really like that as well, but I also don't need the content. Now watch this. When I go down over here and click Add, check how it populates my projects with those tracks. Now, let's do some tweaking. I want to take this drum part here, remove that region, and then drag this one in. And these guys over here I want to mute. Now take a listen to the electronic track with these rock drums. So immediately it's getting closer to that other track because I've added in this drum element. Now I can jump to the techno chords and add in a part. And now onto the acoustic guitar bass part. There's some out of time parts there, but I'm not too worried about that. I can fix that later with some quantization. And taking a listen back, 
I just want to raise that bass level a little bit. Now that's just giving me some more coherence between the two tracks by tying in the drums and pulling in those techno chords and bass sound. And this will work obviously very well if you're putting together an album and you just want to gel all the songs together. So try it out, it's pretty cool. It saves you from sort of having to patch hunt through instruments by using stuff that you've already enjoyed in the past and really just ties things together between songs. I hope this video has been helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up to date and be informed of future videos. So that's how to get on track with Logic's import track feature. I'm Gary Hibner from OnTrack Tuts, signing out.